Hello, my name is Roman. I am a pre-sale engineer at iVidian and in this video I will be showing you the workings of iVidian ANPR module. So ANPR or LPR, depending on where you're from, is a smart module that allows you to monitor um, the vehicles entering and exiting your premises. Here, uh, as you can see, we have all of the events that the camera um, we have installed has detected. We can click on any of the events to see uh, more detailed information such as the license plate, uh, the detection time, this active until um, I will explain in a moment, um, the direction of motion, the comment that the operator has left about this event. Uh, we can also see which camera has made this detection and we see the group that the camera belongs to. Uh, if we need to take a closer look, we can open the full picture to confirm that yes, everything is just the way it should be. We can also watch the recording to see how the event in question happened. So here we see this car drive by. Um, and we can take a look at all of the detections that have happened of this, of this vehicle. So as you can see, there was just one. Uh, apparently, these, this vehicle in question was just passing by. Uh, so here, uh, as you can see, we also have other filters. Um, we have filters by which camera took the picture. We can filter by which list the uh, license plate belongs to. So we can set up various lists for uh, employees, visitors, VIPs. Um, any sort of vehicle uh, group you can imagine can be easily selected here. We have uh, filters specific to the vehicle part of the module, so we can select the uh, direction of motion, so entry or exit here. Entry and exit specifically mean movement towards the camera or away from the camera. And we can also select um, recognized or unrecognized license plates. So unrecognized is something I find useful because some setups are imperfect and this helps us troubleshoot the issues with the setup to figure out why the license plates did not get detected. So here, if we take a look, here it's clearly the issue with the lighting. Uh, the license plate is just way too reflective for the camera to be able to pick it up. So if we change the settings around, probably uh, it would help to alleviate this issue, but then the nighttime monitoring would be different. So uh, the other thing that we have here is the license plate groups, which I have just talked about, and this, um, this option of active until actually refers to the uh, license group um, option. Here we have two different lists, one is employees and one is no list, meaning this vehicle does not belong to any specific list. And this has a couple of uses. Number one, you can set up um, synchronization with packs uh, for it, so you can have your gates and barriers open automatically upon uh, the vehicle arriving and the camera spotting the license plate. And if you need to, you can add more license plates to um, that group. So let's say we have a license plate, we would paste it here. We would select the list that we want to add the license plate to. Uh, enter a comment if we need to about that vehicle. And then we can specify the date upon which the vehicle should stop being a part of that group we have just selected. So let's say we have a sporting event where uh, in a week it ends, so uh, the vehicles that we have just added should be out of the group uh, in a week. So we select the state, uh, we add the license plates up here, we enter the comments for them, so who that vehicle belongs to or something like that, or maybe uh, the um, a manu car manufacturer so that we can uh, double confirm that this car is what it says it is. 
and then we cl click add and then upon the uh, 30th of June uh, the car will no longer be the vehicle will no longer be uh, part of this um, employees group that we have created um, aside from that there are obviously uh, some uh, basic settings for more advanced settings you have to go into the camera's uh, web interface which I will not be showing in this video maybe in a different one um, while I'm uh, talking about this subject I should also mention that this module only works with a specific type of camera so for the uh, rest of the modules that you see here and that we have videos of um, all of those work with any sort of camera any kind of video stream that you can get into iVideo will work just fine with faces or people or visitors but ANPR is a bit special uh, it requires a specific camera and, will re and it also requires a uh, setup for that camera to be useful so the last thing that we have are reports in the form of Excel spreadsheets where you can um, bring up the number of vehicles that have entered your premises and the duration of stay for each specific vehicle so um, this has been it for the iVideon AMPR or again LPR I hope this uh, was helpful for you and I will see you in a different video.